Hello there, it's Ellie here and I've had a request for some information and a video basically about how to do the Instagram task on Timebox. So um, this is going to be the one that uh, goes into everything in as much detail as I can uh, as I can provide for you. So hopefully you will find this one helpful. Okay, so whenever you're logged into Timebox and you've clicked on Earn and then on Instagram, the first tab that it's going to take you to is the Follow tab. Now you will either receive this message to say there is no one to follow or it will say you need to do page setup. So to do the page setup, you basically you need to just go to the very bottom tab here and click on that and it will give you your full instructions. Now at the minute, because I have already set up my account, then you can see here that this is my um, Instagram account, which is linked to um, Timebox. And uh, you can see like how many followers I've got and how many people I'm following, etc, etc. But if you need to actually go through the page setup, let me show you how to do that. I'm just going to go over to um, the actual tutorial that Timebox provides and uh, let me then just talk you through what's happening here. So the first part of it, um, it's saying basically that you do need to choose a category from the list below and there's there's a list of um, I think there's maybe about 10 or 12 different categories now. Um, so you just need to have a look down the page and choose a category that's going to suit you. Now it's you know it is important that you choose one that you are going to be able to post about and actually make comments about as well. And uh, you know something that I did was I chose the the one that's for funnies and actually I'm finding it a little bit difficult to um, write the comments about that. So on hindsight I'm personally thinking, you know, I wish I had chosen something different. Um, but I can't change that now. So, you know, do spend a little bit of time thinking about the actual category that you want to use. So let's go through the categories now. Um, so the first one is men's watches. And I'm just having to play and pause the, uh, the video here. So, so that's men's watches. It'll move down in a second. Okay, the second option then is female fitness models. You know, so if you're quite into fitness and um, uh, you know female uh, bodybuilding or the gym or something like that, then this would probably be a good one for you. The next one, sorry, it just moved uh, moved past there a little bit quickly, um, is makeup. So if you're interested in makeup or, you know, if you have a, a, a business already that's related to makeup, then this would be a good one for you to do. And uh, the next option then is luxury lifestyle. The one after that uh, is women's watches. So you had men's watches to start with. Now we have women's watches. After that, you have female models. So, you know, that might be something that would be interesting for you to do, um, to, you know, depending in on if you're interested in fashion or modeling or that kind of thing. Next, then we have fitness. And um, again, then, you know, obviously, if you're interested in going to the gym or um, you know, interest in bodybuilding and that kind of thing. It's certainly going to be something that you'll be able to talk about. The one after that then is women's fashion. And again, you know, if you're interested in fashion, then um, that one will be quite good. Personally, I think, you know, on hindsight, if I had chosen women's fashion, I could probably have spoken about that um, and commented about that a lot more. So, um, you know, that to me, that one would be a lot easier than some of the other options. 
The next one then is luxury travel. Um, actually, this is the one that I, I was debating about um, doing and really I wish I had. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm sort of stuck with the one that I have done for now. But I know that they're um, planning on adding an option so that you can have uh, several different accounts on Instagram. So I'm looking forward to that and then I can do an extra one. The next option there is male models. So, you know, again, if you're interested in modeling and looks and that kind of stuff, you could uh, you could do that one. Um, the next one is stay at home moms. And um, now, as far as I know, I you know, there's uh, a couple of people in the group are doing this one and it's giving some Im images of like other people's children and things. So they find that a little bit um, odd. <laughs> you know, uh, posting pictures of other people's children. Um, so, you know, uh, yeah, that <laughs> that could be difficult enough to, uh, to talk about, I think. The next one then is men's fashion. So again, if you're interested in fashion, that's a, a good option for you there. And then we have male fitness models. And uh, again, you know, if you're interested in going to the gym or you can talk about that kind of thing, um, then this could be a good option for yourself. Funny, that's the one that I chose. And as I said, I'm finding it a little bit difficult to uh, to actually write comments about about the funny ones um, because often, you know, the uh, the actual image itself has something written on it. So it's kind of hard to to know what else to say about it sometimes. And the last option that you can choose at the minute is gaming. Now, as far as I know, um, Timebox are planning on adding additional categories. And as I said, they're definitely planning on adding the option so that you can have more than one Instagram account. So, you know, um, for now, if you're wanting to actually get started, then choose something that is reasonably easy for you to do and that you have an interest in. So after you have actually chosen the uh, the category, let me just play this uh, video on a little bit further. And say so this is just the this is the um, instruction video that Timebox provides. So let me just pause that again. Go back slightly. So if you if you actually click on one of the green buttons, so that's the only thing that you need to do to actually choose the category. Um, just click on the green button there and you will get a message that pops up. And it says, are you sure that you want to choose this category? And then click OK. If you if you're not sure about it, then obviously click cancel. OK. So just taking us then back to the actual um, page that you will see whenever you are setting up your own account. So the first thing then that it's going to ask you to do is to register an email account. Now personally, I would say create your Instagram account first of all, because I tried it the other way around and I was having difficulty creating the Instagram account. So um, if you create the Instagram account first and you know what your email address and everything is that's related to that account, then it's quite easy to um, uh, add this part. So if you're not sure how to actually create an Instagram account, then let me just go and show you how to do that. Let me just minimize that video. Okay, so to create your own Instagram account, now you do need to use a brand new account. You can't use one that um, that you've had for a while, and you you maybe posted a couple of pictures to, and and you're you know you're not using it anymore. You need to create a, a completely brand new account for it to work for uh, for the time box task. So to create your new account on Instagram you will just need to go over to Instagram.com and then it will show you this page. So as you can see here, um, it's asking me to continue as 
uh, Ellie's Funnies, which is my account that I already have set up. But you cannot log into a current um, uh, Instagram account that you already have. You need to create a new one. So click on this bit here, which is Switch Accounts. Now it's going to ask you to log into a different account here or continue as your other previous account. And then just below that, it says, don't have an account, click on sign up. So just click on there. Now it's going to try and make me actually log into my current account. So you just need to click on switch accounts again and sign up again if it's if it's showing that uh, repeated um, image there. So to actually then sign up for a new account, it's going to ask you that you can actually log in with Facebook or you can create a new account with Facebook. And if you are using um, an old email address that you don't have access to or anything um, for your Facebook account, then I would suggest that you don't do that. In fact, I would suggest that you, um, you don't link it with Facebook anyway, so that you can um, keep this one quite separate. So just fill in the details um, at the, the form below. So you can use your mobile number or your email address here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so I will use my email address. Put in your full name. And create a username. Now it's showing me here that I can't use this email address because I've just created an account for this, but that's okay. If it's showing a red um, X like this, you'll need to um, choose a different one. So for the username, you can basically, basically create any username that you want to. Um, however, um, it's uh, a good idea to create something that's related to your actual um, category that you're choosing. So if, for example, if I wanted to do the travel one, I could use Ellie's travels. Now, I knew that that was going to happen. It's telling me here that this username is not available. So if, if that's showing up, then you just need to click the X. No, nope, not going to work. Okay, well, I need to just delete that and create a new username. So let's say um, Ellie, oops, Ellie and Molly, for example. So it's telling me that this username is not available either. So if you want to, you can click on this little arrow and it will generate some different usernames for you. So like I could use online stuff or I can use this Ellie one or um, just something different. It'll, it'll allow you to um, or it'll generate different usernames for you. And then you just need to create a password. So it doesn't ask you to use any particular capital letters or numbers or anything like that. Just put in a password and click on next. Now it's not going to let me do that because this is an account or an email that's already registered. So um, let me just take you over to the account. Okay, so this is an account um, that I just created. I uh, created just a new one. So you, after you have confirmed your email address, then just click on login. Okay, so as you can see, it's completely blank. Um, we've got no posts, no followers, no uh, pictures, no nothing. <laughs> so um, the first thing that it's going to ask you to do is to add a profile picture. So you can just click on here and it will open the photos section of your um, device. So I can use, um, let's say, Oh, let's say we'll use this one. It's best to actually use an image of yourself if you can. And um, then just go over to the edit profile section. Okay, so in this section, you can change your username out here if you want to. Um, there is a space for adding a website, but part of the um, time box rules are that you need to leave this section um, completely blank. This was something that I had just written in earlier. So it will ask you as well to add a bio. So if, you, if you're following the um, tutorial, it'll tell you not to put anything in here. But actually on the page, it tells you that you should add a bio. That's just that they had updated this. 
So just add something in here that's going to encourage people to actually follow your um, Instagram. For example, I just said, follow my account if you enjoy travel pictures. So if I was going to choose the travel section uh, category, then um, I could put something like that. Or you could say, if you enjoy, um, let's see, going to the gym, if you've, if you've chosen that section, you know, just, just write something simple. <clears throat> excuse me, just write something simple in here that uh, is going to relate to the category that you have actually chosen. I haven't actually confirmed this email, so that's why that button's there. And phone number. You do need to use a real phone number here because you will get a, a text message from Instagram. It's not from Timebox. It's an, a, a text message from Instagram just to confirm that uh, you are a real person, basically, So, um, and that you have this real number. It's to prevent people being able to create you know, 20 million different Instagram accounts. So make sure that you uh, put in your proper phone number there and you can actually receive a text message. The next part then is gender. Just choose your gender from the drop down box. <clears throat> um, there is a not specified option. However, Timebox says that you need to choose um, one of the genders there. And there's a little box here, as you can see, it says similar account suggestions. And that's include your account when recommending similar accounts people might want to follow. So keep that little box checked because that's going to help you to actually build your number of followers. Once you have filled that in, just click on submit. And you will get a profile saved notification. Mine's just at the bottom of the, the page here. So that's your actual Instagram account um, created. The next thing then that you need to do is to go back to the tutorial page. So let me go and show you this. So the last step then in um, creating your account and having it ready for this Instagram task is that you need to download um, the images here. And um, these are images obviously related to the category that you have chosen. And this is just because you will have nothing really on your account as yet. So, um, you know, nobody is going to follow you unless you've actually got photographs um, on there. It does tell you to download each of the nine images below, upload them without any captions or descriptions. So just the image itself, just, just download them um, onto your device and then upload them onto your Instagram account. Now, let me just show you how to do that. OK, so um, to actually add the pictures then to your Instagram account, if you're using your computer, um, such as I am, I'm using my laptop, you will need to actually change this over so that you can um, work this account as if you are using a, a mobile phone. So to do that, you're clicking on Control and Shift. So Shift is the, is the one that, uh, that you click to have a capital letter. So hold both of those keys down and then click on I. And this is what happens. It basically turns your um, computer screen into um, a phone. <laughs> it, uh, it acts as if it's a phone. So at the minute, let me just move this down slightly. <clears throat> at the minute, you can see that there is no plus option here to actually add a picture and uh, you can click on here however just to um, to get the plus up then you can just hit refresh and then the um, options appear so to add the pictures then just add, click on the plus button and this is actually um, images that um, I, I add, <clears throat> that I added for one of my team members. Okay, so this is the images. So you're just clicking on one of the images, clicking on open, and click on next. It tells you not to write any caption or anything. Don't do anything else here, 
and then just click on share. So that's the, the first picture added. Um, to then add the other ones, then just do the same thing again. Click on the plus, find the next image that you have downloaded, open that, click next. Keep the caption and everything empty and just click on share. So you're just doing that for all nine, nine images. And uh, once you have done that, then you need to go back over to the time box section and click on verify account. Let me show you that. So after you have added all nine images, then all you need to do is click on the verify page setup. Once you have, to have clicked on this and it's been approved, then your uh, Instagram account will be linked to Timebox and you will be able to start earning from doing this task. So after you have actually completed the page setup and it's been verified uh, by Timebox, then you will get this um, set up in the page setup section. You will see your, um, your Instagram account and you will be able to check here what your number of followers are and the following. Now, if any of these numbers are different to what is actually showing on your uh, Instagram account, that's because it hasn't been updated. So as it, so, as it shows you here, my account has, has not been updated for 23 hours and 23 minutes. So to get this um, updated, then you just need to click on the verify button um, whenever you have done a follow or an unfollow. So hopefully that has helped you out for how to actually um, set up your Instagram account ready to start earning. If you have found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And um, in the next video, then I will show you how to actually do the follows and the unfollows and the posts. So this is what happens next and this is how you will actually earn money from doing this task. So that's all for now from me and uh, happy earning as always and take care now. See you in the next video. Bye.